Well, there we go. That's all but one of the outside frames. This was crazy today. I totally didn't expect to be doing so much TIG welding, but this beast broke. So I intended to just TIG the corners and then I was going to make everything else, especially the inside corners, but that little beast right there failed me. So I guess I'm gonna call uh, Everlast on Monday and see if we can't have a warranty placed. Um, only used that MIG uh, one other time, and uh, that was right when the right when the machine came. So there we have it. Pretty crazy. I never in a million years thought a brand new machine would have such a would have a failure like that. I'm assuming. Well, it's either the trigger uh, switch or it's the motor itself. It's very intermittent. You pull the trigger and nothing happens. Pull the trigger and you get like half a second of wire feed and pull the trigger the next time and nothing and then just motor just stops. So um, I hope it's simple. I hope it's something, maybe the gun's bad or maybe the trigger in the gun's bad. I don't know. I hope it's that. And uh, I'm, I'll give you a report on Everlast's customer service. Um, machine was bought in May, so I'm outside the 30 day window. I just don't do that much MIG welding, so second time to use it, we'll figure it out. First time I used it, it was a joy, and that thing will MIG like a dog. I like it, so I hope it's simple to fix. We'll see. So I've set up the MIG to spot stitch. I put the MIG gun on 2.1 seconds so I don't have to keep pulling the trigger. What we're going to look at is how the motor's moving, because the motor doesn't move correctly, and it takes a few pulls of the gun uh, to make things go and then it and then it kind of hangs up so here's a quick video I'm going to pull the trigger so that was a good one we're just going to kind of cycle through this until it quits and you'll see there we go now see it it hung up on that one that one was good that's good this will be good it's like it gets to a certain spot in the sequence of things and then it just doesn't want to go anymore. So I'm not quite there. You saw it hung up and then it started going. That's very, there you go. So that was wrong. There we go. All right. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is here um, with that. But that hesitancy sometimes turns into full just not working. So I'm going to do a second video where I turn spot stitch off and we'll see where that goes. Okay, here's the setup. All right, two touch control, spot stitch is off. And let's see what happens with the motor. Oh, did you see the hesitancy? There, it just stopped. See, I never have quit pulling the gun. I'm still holding the trigger just constantly. All right, that was a good run right there for a second. Gonna let off the trigger. Oh, I didn't let off the trigger. I just kept holding it and it stopped on its own. There's a way to see what I'm doing here. Let me turn the gun. So you can see the trigger pull and, okay, nothing on that one. That one's good. So let's just see what happens there with the, with the motor gears. We'll just go until it, it wants to stop again, maybe. So I'm just showing this for the technician to see what might be uh, the cause of, of the motor. Uh, it's like it not acting properly. This time it's going to go for a long time. This longest it's gone in a while. Yep, just stop. There it goes again, stepping weirdly. Okay, you see I never did let off the trigger. Okay. So at this point, I went back and, and called Everlast. We had a, a good conversation with the technician. I, I honestly was a little surprised they, they picked up, but they did. And he asked me to go test the gun, um, really to test the trigger, to bypass the trigger and see if I could recreate the problem and to take a video of that. And then if I still had the problem, to go ahead and send it in. 
so what comes next here is me trying to do that uh, to disassemble the gun to run some continuity tests and then to bypass the trigger system together and see if we could recreate the problem so here we go great test number one is continuity meter set up connected switch continuity on the first wire I'm going to swap them continuity on the second wire after testing the continuity on the gun uh, when it wasn't connected to the welder I needed to take the gun back to the welder uh, now that I knew that I had good continuity through the gun but bypass the switch just use the wire leads and see if we could recreate the problem on the welder itself I also needed to make sure that all the settings were set per the technicians request so a little clip on what the what the settings were and then we'll look at what happened when I bypassed the trigger on the gun okay just a quick overview of the settings everything is set to the Basically lowest, no, no burn back, 2T control, and we'll see what the motor's doing. Alright, in this test we're going to open up the tensioner so we can see the gears. And we have bypassed the switch completely. So we're just going to take the two switch legs and connect them and see if we can recreate the problem. So here's test number one. running. It seems to actually be running better than it was before. We don't seem to be having a problem here. I'm going to disconnect. Reconnect. Test number two. We're having a good connection. Doesn't seem to be a problem. I don't see any stuttering or stair-stepping that we were seeing in the previous video. Let's try another one. Test number three. At this point I'd have to say, I think the issue may have been in the switch. Even though it's been cleaned, it doesn't look like it. So maybe we're going to go back to the switch and try to figure out what exactly is wrong with that little plate that connects these two. I, it's brand new and I don't see anything visibly wrong with it. Alright, another one. Seems to be getting good contact. And we're getting the result we want, which is good. I don't want to send this back. Let's take a look at the switch. Alright, first time we had our probes connected directly to the wires. And now we have our probes connected to the contact plates inside the switch. The only other one is that disc that's right there. And you can see it looks pretty clean. And we've just connected directly to the contacts in the switch. Everything is the same here. So let's go back and look at our motor uh, given this setup. And again, our two contact tips here. Looks like we've got the motor running good definitely not having the problem we had yesterday. Try this again. Seems to be going good. Definitely don't seem to see any stutter stepping like we had. Hmm. 
if I just hold these two together instead of clamping them, you can see that there's a little bit of, needs a good solid connection to run. Okay. Well, if we get the good solid connection, it seems like it's working. So let's put the gun back together and see if we can understand that. All right, gun's back together. We'll look at it. So there's the, there's all the parts. The switch is back in, and look at that. We're not getting any issues at all. So what's up with that? Yesterday, we couldn't get it to run worth anything. And after I call technical support and take the gun apart again and put it back together, it's running like a like the beast that it's supposed to be. So let's load some wire in it. Maybe rank a few test welds and see if this thing's going to work. Tension on it. it was right there. We're getting it. Let me check the tip one more time. Just didn't want to slide through the end there. Probably shouldn't have had that consumer on. So, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's pull it back just a little bit. Okay, let's give it a test run. Okay, well here's the verdict. I have no idea what was wrong with it. Um, clearly it was skipping and not, it's not running correctly. It's a horrible weld, so um, I'm going to assume it was in the trigger somewhere. You know, we took the whole thing apart, we looked at it, we didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, cleaned it up a little bit, tested all the continuity through the gun, uh, skipped the gun and tried just the machine, and everything seems to be working, so uh, weld it up. One of these log holder racks. Uh, there's some really beautiful mid welds on there. So, uh, I don't know. We'll keep you updated. See how long this thing runs. And I'm a little nervous when I can't figure out what's wrong with something, but we'll see what happens. So, in conclusion, um, we couldn't recreate the problem. I, um, after talking to the technician, I did all the things that they asked for, and all I can come up with is maybe there was some sort of debris in the gun. Uh, maybe some metal dust was in there or uh, something that was causing the the switch plate not to contact um, uh, evenly with the uh, with the little contacts in there the contact leads so um, in lieu of that we did not call Everlast's customer uh, service back and we did not place a warranty 
call. Um, so we'll keep working with the with the machine. It's working as it should. Um, I guess if anybody else out there has experienced something, uh, leave me a comment. Um, like I said a moment ago, I'm always a little concerned when I can't put my finger on exactly what was going wrong. And clearly there was an issue, and clearly there's not an issue now. So we'll keep welding. Weld away, my friends. Uh, if you know what the issue was, uh, or you have a different theory, uh, maybe give me a comment and let me know. All right, till next time.